Hi guys, this is Ahmed. This is our class number four in chapter two. So we know that the data in Snowflake gets stored in the form of micropartitions. Snowflake collects the metadata of micropartition and maintains in metadata store. So what kind of metadata Snowflake collects about micropartitions? So the data it collects. the metadata it collects about micropartitions is what is the minimum and maximum and distinct values and range of the values present of each row in a micropartition so the here the row in the micropartitions meaning logically it is our column so the 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 information about the metadata about the values in the column get stored in metadata store so this metadata whatever the metadata snowflake is collecting about the micro partition it helps to read it helps to read only the data which is necessary okay only those records are only those micro partitions which are necessary to run our query efficiently this concept in snowflake is called query pruning i am repeating it reading needed records or needed micro partitions to execute our query is called query pruning efficient query pruning helps to improve the performance of our queries because it is reading only those records or only those micro partitions which are really required to execute our query in real time suppose if i run a query and it is running it is finishing in a expected time i don't need to care about this query pruning and whenever the query is running slow the table which is having huge amount of data and i am trying to query i am i am trying to perform a query on that large tables so you you obviously wants your query should run faster right so in this cases we need to take care of we need to look into uh, the query pruning how your query is pruning your micro partitions one important point about query pruning is query pruning works hand in hand with uh, clustering meaning to do efficient query pruning we may need to sort our data in the micro partitions i am giving an example just think like we have the records like this like we have a numbers like you know so 7 5 so i have uh, numbers from 1 to 9 in a jumbled order i am asking you to search where is 5 so to find out the 5 so you need to scan all these right you cannot guess the 5 is in the second uh, second place itself so you need to you need to check all the 10 records suppose if i asking you where is 2 then you need to scan entire thing entire nine records then finally you will be able to find two is here for suppose so here you are not doing any query pruning you are not doing any pruning you are scanning each and every number here okay suppose case so here data is here all the numbers from 1 to 9 is sorted in a order so if i am asking you where is 3 you just straight go here and you will find the number 3 so you meaning meaning you are able to prune unnecessary reading of you are okay unnecessary reading of these num numbers you will be reading only the number 3 because you know the data is sorted it is, so you will focus only on third position directly so that's why i am saying this query pruning works hand to hand with sorted data so how do we find the efficiency of our pruning 
So that information you can get it from query profiler. So I am getting into the web interface to to see like you know from where we can observe our query pruning efficiency. Okay, this table has 150 million records. Now I am going to query on some condition. Let me write the condition here. I have taken this query. So I am running this now. The query got completed. To find out like how, how is the query pruning for this particular statement, go to history and refresh and refresh it. This is the query which you ran just now. So click on this and go to the query profile and here you will see total number of partitions scanned and total number of partitions exist in the table. Okay, it's around 80% of micro partitions are scanned. Actually, it is a poor query pruning. But we are okay because until unless my query is running faster, okay, I don't need to care of uh, this query pruning. So if you, okay, so the, the problem will come whenever your queries are, your query is running slow. So in that case, we need to think of sorting the data in micro partitions based on some keys which you are using frequently in where conditions, uh, the column which you are using in joining conditions, those columns to be considered that you need to order the data which is in the micro partitions. That helps more uh, in uh, efficient query pruning. So efficient query pruning is directly proportional to your query performance. Okay, that's all for today's class. And in the next class, we'll talk more about data clustering, clustering keys, and lot of SQL related to that. Until then, see you, take care.